Hey, what's up, everybody? Jake here. Hope thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, just wanted to apologize for uh, yesterday's stream. Um, apparently, um, I had some issues with this headset, and uh, I don't know. I just looked at my previous video, and there are times you didn't hear my voice at all. There are often times you could barely hear my voice, and then I didn't realize, you know. I didn't have any background noise going on, like any background music playing, but my video got partially muted. Partially muted. But, uh, anyway. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, El Bruto's missions. He's from the, he's from the Diablos. Although, He's a character, although you don't ever see him. He does show up in concept art. You know, in the... <clears throat> in the game's manual and in, uh... So, yeah. I'm gonna do all Bruce missions and then... See where we go from there. I hope you can hear my voice a little better this time around. And I'm not gonna take that video down just because... I... I don't really want to post these videos just for the sake of just for the sake of hearing my commentary on this, you know. It's really it's really is just for the gameplay value. What you say? A lot of people are like, oh thank god we don't have to hear his granny voice. Well you gotta hear my granny voice this time around. I should have done this earlier. I usually do this before we start the uh but I always pick up weapons at the beginning of you know, each of my sections, so. Alright, Turismo. <clears throat> this is El Boro of the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels, and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. I got a fast car right here. Oh yeah, and uh, this set of missions... I probably shouldn't have to tell you this. Those of you who are watching this video probably already know from playing this game 20 plus years ago. Well, just 20 years ago. That if you try to do this mission after, you know, you kill Salvatore Leone, in the instant you head into the St. Mark's District, which is Mafia territory, they will blow you up with their overpowered shotguns. So, it would behoove you to do this mission. Everybody's in Cheetahs, and I'm in a Diablo Stallion. It was, anyway, it would behoove you to do this mission before, you know, doing Sayonara Salvatore. Uh-oh. I'm already off to a great fucking start. God, what the fuck was that? I don't remember the street race being this frustrating in the original version. I think, then again, I think Grove Street games might have made the traffic a hell of a lot worse in this version. Not just for the street races, like in the entirety of the game. Or I might be imagining things. It has been a while since I played the original version. Oh, what the hell? This thing is, like, turning way too much.
Oh, crap. I'm not even gonna make it. I'm just gonna... I don't know. Call me a quitter later. <clears throat> God, I wonder how many tries it's gonna take me to do the big and veiny mission. Oh, no! Shouldn't have a radio turned on. Crap. Now it's not completely spotless. Not that's gonna matter because uh, these dumbass drivers are gonna ram me off the road and mess up my ride. Man, these triads have no consideration. Yeah, this is almost as frustrating as the uh, as the driver in Vice City. It's because Hillary's driving a Saber GT and you're driving a fucking Sentinel, a stock Sentinel. Should I add? God, they are swerving. Pisses me off. These vehicles aren't even accessible yet. Not till you get to Stolen Island. That's, oh, what? I barely tap you and I swore. Okay, you're just doing that on purpose. If I don't like this mission, I'm not gonna like bling bling scrabble. Bling bling scramble. Why did I get? Why did I say scrabble? I'm fucking working. No! Fuck! Third time's a charm, right? So pissed off now. My mother's my sister. Of course, I'm not giving a GPS route how to get there. But Jake, they didn't have those 20 years ago. Get good. <clears throat> How I was able to beat this game when this was first out is far beyond me. And actually, when this was first out, I didn't even play it yet. I just watched my dad play it. Then when I was playing it, he was basically telling me, you know, how to play it. So I had to play it with him watching me. Ball. Ah, 
that they should not put checkpoints that make you drive into oncoming traffic. That's bullshit. And these guys, they will swerve you out of the way. Okay, I'm in first place. As long as nobody acts like a complete fucking asshole, I should be good. I got triads shooting at me. Oh, you have to get in my way. Grove Street Games, fix this problem ASAP. Just joking, Grove Street Games. Um, or am I? I don't know what... I don't know what problems are much worse in this city. Gang violence or drunk drivers? Nah, it's assholes like me. We all know that. I swear, for these race missions, they just make the traffic a hell of a lot worse. I guess it's just trying to... You know, make this a little more challenging, but it doesn't have to be so fucking annoying. What the fuck? No! Come on, come on, come on. One last checkpoint. Don't fuck up. Alright. Home stretch, baby. Out of my way! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Wow. And the thing is, this mission is actually replayable. Just this mission, though. But, uh, after doing Sayonara Salvatore, <clears throat> good luck trying to do this mission. It's gonna be next to impossible. I mean, unless you have Ray's Bulletproof Patriot. I don't even know why I picked up those weapons. If I'm remembering correctly, you don't really need those in El Burro's missions. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no disgusting threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've eaten in hardwood, hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds, and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. Oh man, look how badly this car is fucked up. And no, my videos are not made for kids. I'm doing GTA playthroughs for God's sakes. Rockstar did not intend for these games to be made for kids. Think about these earlier Grand Theft Auto games. There weren't actually a lot of profanities. I guess it wasn't until San Andreas that they start dropping F-bombs in their games, but... In GTA 3, I think you only heard, I mean, with the exception of pedestrian dialogue. But in, like, mission cutscenes, you only hear the word shit, like... Twice. Vice City, it's been said a lot more regularly than San Andreas, 
That's one where they start dropping F-bombs. And then with each new title in the Grand Theft Auto series, I think the F-bomb count is a lot higher. Although, GTA 5 kind of feels like those F-bombs were just kind of forced. It's like, hey, it's a Grand Theft Auto game. There's, let's just say the word fuck so many times. That That's all... That's the one thing people are going to associate with our games. Well, that and... That and paying a working girl for their services and then only to kill them afterwards and get your money back. I mean, everyone who's played this game has done some pretty evil stuff, but in my book, that's probably one of the most evil things anyone could actually do. Well, besides the torture mission. And the mission in, uh, Liberty City. Yeah, Liberty City stories where... Where Tony literally kills Giovanni and butchers his carcass and serves him as meat. Just to prove himself to his ma. Alright, come here you bastards. <laughs> Got some free Uzi ammo out of this and some money. I'm gonna need to borrow your truck. Oh my car. Oh god. Don't jump in front of me. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. Just the driving controls are like... Uh, not that I'm complaining about the driving controls, just... Your cars could get a little too, uh... Hard to control. You could swerve so easily. It is never my intention to kill unarmed civilians. Now, hostile gang members... If, uh, in free mode, if a situation forces me to kill such people, then I'll do it no problem. Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it, and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing <coughs> weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Boros well in that wrath. Arriba! That's a disgusting thought to think about. El Boro. Let's just say he's the definition of sleazy. Well, then again, so is Luigi, who... literally controls a brothel. I know as a front, it's like fronted as a gentleman's club, but... But his employees are most likely working girls. Alright. This is the weirdest thing about this mission is the triads, even if you already hit them hostile towards you for doing jobs for Tony Cipriani, they don't attack you. Kill 25 triads. Yeah, they're gonna be wearing blue. And any civilian, well, actually, these triads become hostile. Hmm. Yeah, look at 
this one. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the fire department involved. Metal jacket. Oh shit, I didn't realize I set a blaze. I should have done the firefighters missions first then I'd be completely fireproof unless that's not an effect in GTA 3 which I'm pretty sure it is come on I still got I might have to do this in a second go I think only the last few playthroughs I've done of this Shit, shit, shit. All right. Man, I was worried I'd have to do it again, but I'm surprised I did it right the first time. In a nick of time. It's come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Well. <clears throat> Not sure if I'll get in trouble for talk radio, but I guess you just got to be consistent with the radio. Oh my god! Oh ho ho! All hell's breaking loose over there. All right, I believe that's. One more El Burro mission I gotta do. <laughs> Man, Red Light District's not even gang territory. Well, I guess if... I guess sometimes triads will happen upon Red Light District. Same with the Mafia. Alright. So one more. Gross. A keeping opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open. And now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my donkey derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. Now this one I have never able to do in one in my first attempt. <coughs> Let me turn off the radio first. I hate this. <laughs> what did the dispatcher say? All units be on the lookout for donkey porn being dropped in the Portland area? Collecting these magazines only increases your time limit by one second. If you miss one, 
you're fucked. I mean, you don't get in trouble for missing one. I've completed this mission by missing one. You just gotta keep collecting, keep collecting, keep collecting. So the main idea for this mission is to keep moving. Not have people in your way, ideally. Shit. And preferably not get dragged out of your car by angry triads. way to do this mission without any mistake is to actually know the route like the back of your hand like I said it's been a while since since I played the original version of this game Get out of my way. <laughs> there we go. Wow. I guess that was like the first time I have ever completed this on my first attempt. Now just not die getting there. Mags. Enjoy your exotic adult entertainment. Wow. A lot of people online to get porn. Well, I guess internet porn wasn't really a thing in 2001. Well, this guy jacked my ride. God damn it. Well, anyway, so that's it for this session. I um, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It's going to help my channel very significantly. And subscribe for more content. Um, hope you have a good rest of the day.